Eric, are you ready for this? It'd be helpful if you were. <laughs> yeah. He's hustling. You sure you don't want to do the pole dance and look at that hustle? <laughs> he just did oh, the dad. Geez. He did the dad hustle. He did the dad hustle. shuffle. It's not like this is a surprise. <laughs> so we do uh, ask Riley on the show where Eric plays the part of the listener. Is this a DM email, Eric? What is this? The... Is a DM. Okay, don't don't say I'm the person's name. I'm not saying the name. name. Okay, I'm not gonna say the name. So ask Riley for today. What you got, Eric? Hi, Riley. Hi. Happy Fourth Weekend. I'm not sure if you'll if you'll ever see this message, but you're such a strong woman. I love the advice you give. Oh. What's your take on guys who call you queen in his message and never really your name? Even when we've started talking, asking for myself. Oh. Uh, okay, so this person is dating somebody. The mm-hmm. guy doesn't use her name, calls her queen. Correct. Okay, so Riley, your your thoughts. So it sounds to me like what I'm getting from this is they're not like boyfriend, girlfriend yet. They're just sure. kind of in the process of dating. I'm not a big fan of pet names until I'm actually like, if you're calling me baby, I better actually be your baby. If you're calling me queen... I better actually be your queen. Because to me, what that reads is that he calls everybody that. Mm. It's like if that, you know what I mean? If you give that little pet name without any real meaning to it, it's like how many other queens does he have or did he have? And I don't want to be pessimistic here because it could be super cute. It could be just him being endearing. But if you're not digging it, I would say say something about it. Because Mm -hmm. if you can establish that positive communication early, then you'll be able to talk to him about stuff later. What are you grinning about over there? Well, two two notes. First yes. of all, it's ironic this question is asked today because I was the one reminded Riley that she was engaged on this date. Yeah, uh, officially I know. Two years I'm, ago. I'm a d- derp. It was two um, years ago. I, well, I, I, I and I'm just gonna throw out my two cents, Riley. And this is this is your asking. Yeah. thing. Queen to me sounds condescending versus like uh, sweetie also does too. No, queen I to me hate, it sounds weird. Hate hate the sweetie. Marshall calls me queen, but I am actually his queen. I'm going to be his wife in 79 yes. days. Thank you for the reminder. Yes. But, you got you. Um, I just, I feel like it's cute. I like pet names. I'm not saying that I don't like that. And I don't want to be the jaded meh meh because that jaded meh meh almost made me not meet my person. So I don't think it's a deal breaker per se. I don't think it's like, oh, how dare you call me queen? You're <laughs> such a jerk. I think you should probably tell him you're not super comfy with it. And if he has a problem with it, that could be a red flag. I think he brought up a valid point too, where you wonder how many other people she he's calling queen. Because if they, from what I keep asking the thing, can I see it? Yeah. Because this from what I gather from that, like you said, right, they probably aren't actually dating, dating. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't sound me, like their boyfriend, girlfriend it, there. It's almost like you're gaslighting. Like that, like making it seem like we're going to be in a relationship. So it's like lowering down that defense wall. So it's like, oh, he's calling me queen. So we're, not, we're not dating well, yet, but he calls me queen. It's like for me, anybody that I've ever had call me like, I had a dude call me princess. He would call me princess and never Riley. It was always princess, 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 which at the time I liked that. Now I'm like, what? <laughs> but he ended up being a doucher. And I was just kind of like, oh, why was he always so sweet to me? Why did he have this adorable pet name to me? Come to find out a couple weeks later, he's calling somebody else princess on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm I saying? Know, Facebook of yes, all places. Yes, out, wow. out in the open. So to the me, book. I just feel like I, uh, maybe you got to have the combo. If it's bugging you now, have the combo. Because if not, you're going to question. You're going to wonder. And it could be something simple. It could be like, I'm sorry, I didn't feel like you didn't would mind that and you guys can get over it and then maybe you will actually end up being his queen. Mm. Can, I, can I add something to this? Yeah. If he's calling queen, he better damn well treat you like one. Exactly. Do like, you know what I mean? Like open doors and that It stuff. didn't sound like he wasn't. It just no. sounds a little suspect and coming from a forwarder, j- former jaded one, I get it. Conversation is needed, I feel like. So f- final final thought is have a little set, set of boundaries. Uh, yeah, like have a little talk and have a little like just sit down, chit chat. Don't be defensive and be like, don't you be calling me queen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we women always want this great guy. And then we have these like, you know, moments where we're so suspect about stuff. So, yes, final final verdict, I would say, if I could call it that, is just have a have a conversation with him. What if he calls you a baby? Ugh. Or shoddy? Ugh. Or little boo thing? Ugh. A baby is a great one, though. Don't you dare. A baby. What the you, hell? Hey, okay. Oh, my if God. A baby. Yes, yes. And Help. Do you know Hurricane Chris is now? I, no one knows where he's Go, at. No. no. Why, he's in the news recently. <laughs> Google why he's in the news. Oh, and then, uh, huh? oh, if you have a question for Ask Riley, you can slide her DMs at Riley Couture. Yes. Uh,